another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back with uh, Quick Hits. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, except for Sundays. That today comes at you once a day on Sundays. Um, all right, let's get right, right, let's get right into the show today. Um, actually, before we do, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Um, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, and also our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which uh, all proceeds go directly to autism research and recovery. So please like and subscribe to that channel as well. Um, <clears throat> let's get right into today's subject, which is Tyson Fury, uh, who came out today. And I never know if this guy is trolling or telling the truth or what he's doing. Uh, but he said the fight with AJ Josh, AJ Joshua, Anthony Joshua, AJ is 100% for August 14th. Um, he said, uh, he did a, a, a Twitter video. Um, he said that um, he had a conversation with the Saudi prince um, and uh, the money is there. They're getting $75 million apiece. Um, and the fight is 100% ready to go. It will be August 14th uh, in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, it'll be, you know, and called it the biggest sporting event. Um, in the world, which it, I don't know, maybe maybe it probably is. Um, Fury uh, obviously was obligated to fight Wilder, um, and, and that expired last year, the end of last year. Um, so Wilder's not going to get that opportunity now. So now we've turned the page. Uh, we go to this, and this has been going back and forth. Uh, it's got been kind of holding things up. Wilder wants Fury. Uh, Usyk wants AJ. None of these things have happened. Uh, but it, it finally looks like, and again, I, look, it, it, it's it's Fury. So take it with a grain of salt. You know, he could change his mind tomorrow and say this is zero percent chance it's going to happen. I don't know. Um, but Fury says it's one hundred percent. So so let's go with that, right? And, and verify, I guess, right? Um, you know, Eddie Hearn's been saying it's going to happen. You know, if it's seventy five million per person, and then five million for the undercard, it's going to happen. So this is going to happen, maybe, on August 14th, maybe. That's really all I can say. Um, but it'll be the biggest fight in, in, in boxing. It, it'll be one of the richest fights in the history of boxing. You know, I don't know that it'll beat the Mayweather fights and things like that. But it'll be a huge event, um, Saudi Arabia, August 14th. So uh, would it still be competing against the Olympics? Somebody check that for me. I uh, won't be up against college football just yet. So I, I think it's a good week to do it. I, I really do. Um, I don't know what they have over there in the UK or in Saudi Arabia as far as sports, but it, for the U.S. it's good. And I know the U.S. really is in the main market. You know, the U.S. may have 330 million people and the U.K. may have 60 or whatever. Um, but, you know, this is not targeted towards predominantly the U.S. Obviously, they want to make their money there. Um I'm guessing we'll get it on the zone. I, I don't know. Um, I guess all, all that will be announced later. Um, and, and we'll get some news on, on, on how we can watch it. Um, uh, but if you believe Fury, which I, I say be careful with, um, this is a hundred percent a go. Um, and, and he's been skeptical saying it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. I've been skeptical on a fight saying it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Um, but it looks like we, we may have a fight now. Um, just to uh, you know, give you the recording, I got the phone with Prince Khalid from Saudi Arabia. Fury said in his video, he told me that the fight's 100% on August 14th, 2021. I cannot wait, repeat, cannot wait to smash Anthony Joshua on the biggest stage of all times. Now, again, I don't know that it'll be the biggest stage of all time. It'll be you. It'll be the biggest fight of the year. I don't know that it's going to be bigger than Canelo uh, Mayweather, Mayweather Pacquiao. Whatever, you know, I don't know that's going to be big in those fights. Uh, but it'll be big. It'll be huge. It's a great fight. It's a great event for boxing. As far as the fight goes, you guys know what I think. I think Fury is unique. 
Um, I think Fury is special at six nine. A guy that moves like that with plenty of power. Like you said, he's stopped Wilder. He he just does. You know, when he commits to his power, he's six nine two sixty. He's gonna hit you hard, right? Um, so I, I think Fury is unique. Um, I, I think at this particular time, there's no one really out there that can beat him unless he beats himself. Which he could. He could. You know, if he loses, it's an unforced error, right? I say on mixed combat radio, it's like an Alex Rodriguez home run, right? It's an unforced error, right? Like when Alex Rodriguez, if you make your pitch to Alex Rodriguez, you can get him out. If you make a mistake, it's in the second deck. You know, look, if Fury makes fights his fight, he wins. He, he does get lackadaisical at times. He got dropped by Steve Cunningham, blown up cruiserweight, who wasn't really blown up. He's just really a cruiserweight who's fighting at heavyweight, right? Um, he he almost got stopped. You know, he, he got knocked down twice by Wilder. Fine, Wilder cracks everyone. Let's look past that. Um, he uh, the AJ fight. You know, um, the the Otto Valen fight. He almost gets stopped by Otto Valen. He gets rocked by Otto Valen. I mean, you see what I'm saying? there's a history here where he falls asleep behind the wheel, so to speak. And he can get hit for a guy that defensively good, that savvy, that quick, uh, that defensively sound in the ring. He gets hit a lot. And that's just out of carelessness, I believe. So it's not beyond him to have an unforced error. If he doesn't fight, if he doesn't do that, uh, if he fights his fight and stays in control, he this is I, I, I think it's relatively easy work for him. I don't see, you know, AJ. It's not going to beat him up on the inside. He can't outbox him from the outside. So, I mean, there's really no path to victory for AJ. Just like I said in the Lewis Neary fight, there was no path to victory in the Lewis Neary fight, and, and Brandon Figueroa is going to win. It's, it's the same thing. I mean, it may be competitive for, for, for a while, but there's no path to victory for AJ. So, again, the only path to victory is an unforced error by Fury. That Fury falls asleep behind the wheel, and AJ hits him with a big uppercut or something like that. Outside of that, Fury is clearly better. Fury should win this fight, and I, I don't think it's going to be real close. You know, uh, I don't know if Fury stops him. It depends what Fury wants to do. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I think this – I'm starting to lean really far in the direction that this is going to happen. Uh, but So leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know if you think it's going to happen, um, if the $75 million per fighter is, is, is legitimate, and how you think the fight turns out. Um, it is May 16th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Um, and Tim Hardaway still didn't get into the Basketball Hall of Fame. This is getting ridiculous with him. Let's get Tim Hardaway in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.